Yo, 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 what up? This is a video about finding the percent of a number. I am your host, Mr. Shirley. Please make a note as you're going through this video and keep it to help you with the homework and for future quizzes and things of that nature. All right, we're going to start off with a little bit of a review, which you don't need to write down, but you could if you wish to. I would like you, before I go through this, to pause the video and try this out yourself, just to quiz yourself a little bit on what you remember from the previous video. All right, thanks. So converting each percent to a decimal, remember, all you need to do with these is divide by 100. Okay, so that's for A and for B. So divide 6 by 100, or just pop that decimal place 2 over to the left and add in 0 in front. So 0 decimal, 0, 6, and 123%, same thing. You end up with 1 decimal, 2, 3. Remember, because it is over 100%, you should have a number other than 0 in front of that decimal place. Okay, and converting each fraction to a percent, remember with these ones, you're doing some division and then multiplying by 100. Okay, so that's 12 divided by 30 times 100 should get you 40%. Okay, and then on our last one here, 129 divided by 150, you get 86%. Again, because both numerators are smaller than the denominator, you should end up with percents less than 100. Feel free to use a calculator as you're doing some of these. You shouldn't need it for everything, but it will speed you through some parts of it where I want you to focus on the math we're doing now instead of focusing all your time on long division. Alrighty, so for our note, um, so percent of a number, make sure there's a date in there. You don't have to write down the learning goal. I say it, I'm sure somebody's doing it anyways, but you don't have to, I said it. Um, but our goal with this is to calculate the percentage of a given number. Okay, which doesn't necessarily make sense, but will in a second. You actually do it all the time, or you will do it all the time as you grow and pay for things and work a job and all of that. All right, so this is the kind of thing you would be doing. So I'm using an example, and then we'll go through the steps. So the question is, what is 38% of 150? I bet you've been dying to know that. Now, the steps we're going to go through, so the first step is to convert that percent to a decimal. Okay, just like we did with the last video, and then multiply the decimal by the number, and by the number in this case, I mean by 150. Okay, that's the the number. I know that's a little bit that's a little bit vague, but that's what I mean. So 38% when we convert it to a decimal, again you're dividing by 100, so you end up with 0.38. Okay, hopefully we're good to go there. And then you take your number there, your decimal that you just found, and multiply it by your other number. So 0 decimal 38 times 150. Okay? And then your number is 57. Okay? Uh, now, a couple of things to note there. First of all, because this is multiplying our two numbers together, the order doesn't matter at all. You could do 150 times 0 decimal 38. It really doesn't matter. You'll still get the correct answer. Um, a second thing, just for error checking, because we are getting a percent uh, we're using a percent that is lower than 100, so that means our final answer should be lower than 150. Okay, so just make sure you're getting an answer that, that kind of fits that, just as a way of error checking a little bit to know that the answer you're getting is reasonable, instead of just saying, oh, my calculator said it, it must be right, because sometimes it's not. Okay. Now, just a couple of quick uh, real-world examples of doing that. So, so there's not really a whole lot to this note. I'm sure you're glad if you're writing this down. Please write down some of this just so you get the idea. Um, now, the HST, for those of you who don't, don't know this one, so the HST currently in Ontario anyways is 13%. It differs depending on the province and some of them don't have an HST and all of that, so I'm not gonna get into that. But in Ontario, we've got 13%. Um, so, you're doing the same things that we did before. So if we calculate the HST on this price, on the $12.99, um, all we're doing is we are wanting to find what 13% of $12.99 is, okay? So you do $12.99 times 13% is a decimal. And maybe we'll just write that up at the top since we're gonna use it uh, 
one other time anyways. Um, so 13% is a decimal is the same as 0 decimal 1, 3. Hopefully you remember that from last slideshow and this one. Um, so you would take 12.99 times 0 decimal 1, 3 and your answer then is one dollar and sixty nine cents uh when you're finding out things like tax with a number like thirteen percent or zero decimal one three often you will need to round your answer to two decimal places uh to reflect just dollars and cents okay uh so for question b i would like you to do that one so please pause for a moment try it out see how you do and uh and then keep going with the video all right so our first step again, so 1325 times 0 decimal 13, and the answer should be 172.25. Uh, you don't need the dollar sign when you're sort of writing your numbers down to calculate, but I would like you to put it in at the end. It's good form. It makes it clear what, that your answer is still in dollars and, and that kind of thing. Okay, so on we go down our slide here. So Skippy bought a $12,000, $12,599 car using a super special 17% off coupon. Not counting taxes, how much did Skippy, oh, I'm uncovering things I shouldn't yet. How much did Skippy have to pay? Okay, so you're going to do the same idea. First step is to convert that 17% to a decimal. Okay, so uh, we've done that a number of times. So you divide by 100 and you get 0 decimal 17. Okay. And then you're wanting to just take your cost here and multiply it by that decimal. And you end up with $2,141.83. And there may be some rounding in there, but that's okay. Now, because of the question here, it says, um, so not counting taxes, how much does Skippy have to pay? Now, keep in mind, he's using a coupon, which means he's saving a little. It means he saved $2,141.83. Not that that's what the car cost him. Okay, so it's like a 10% off sale or something like that. You can calculate your savings, but you have to make sure to note that that's not what you're paying. That's what you didn't pay. Okay, that's what you're saving from that cost. So you just have to do a little bit of subtraction to find your final answer. Okay, so the, the final price equals 12599 subtract 2141.83. Okay, and you should have ended up with 10457.17. Okay, and again, throw the dollar sign back in there. Um, and uh, that gets you your final answer. I probably should have written a concluding sentence on this, but apparently I did not do that. And I'm not even going to attempt that with the mouse because you've seen my writing and it's atrocious. So... Uh, we will end our video right there. Please try out the homework and see how you do. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much for watching.